Hey guys, we're in the Storage View Lab and taking a look at Synology's latest 4-bay NAS. This is the DS923+. Plus. And while we're not done with our full review on this system, there is one thing that's fundamentally different and exciting about the 923+, Plus, and that is Synology has added the ability to use the M.2 SSDs, those little guys that are tucked away, Synology has added the ability to use the SSDs in the 923 Plus as a flash volume. Now, if you're a Synology user historically, then you know that these bays have been available either on the bottom or on the inside or via edge card, and it gives you the ability to use NVMe M.2 SSDs as a cache. Now they can be used as a volume, and that really makes the game interesting. It's one of the things we've railed on Synology over the years for being behind the curve on, by not letting their users have more advanced functionality and control over the SSDs. We'd like to see tiering as an option, and now we get to see volumes as an option, but the trick is a couple different things. First of all, this is only available on the DS923+. Plus. It's just the most recent unit, and it kind of snuck into this build, which is one thing, but the big question, of course, is what happens next, and will my older unit get it? We'll come to that uh, at the end. The other thing is drive support. Synology has historically been getting tighter and tighter about where they let you use third-party drives. That is, any hard drives or flash not branded by Synology. We're about to walk through that as well, so we'll get into that. But the bottom line is that Synology is making strides and by enabling M.2 NVMe SSD volumes, it lets us have a high-performance storage option in systems like this that have, in systems like this that have been primarily designed for hard drive capacity. This is especially interesting in this model because we've added the 10 gig NIC on the back here with a flash volume on board that lets applications running natively on the Synology take advantage of that flash in new and exciting ways. Let's take a look in the GUI to see how the provisioning works. Kevin will walk us through that and then we'll get back to some of those key questions and answers about system support and SSD support. So here we are in the new uh, DS923 Plus. And a cool thing that this model can do is start interacting with the M.2 SSDs for storage pools. Before it would be limited to uh, caching only, and uh, with that it would be create an SSD cache, mount on uh, the volume that you want it to mount on, and you select, you can do read only or read write cache. Clear the data. And you could select the two SSDs that way, but it'd be cache only. It wouldn't be additive to the storage space on the uh, on the storage system. With the DS923 Plus, though, you can create a storage pool using those M.2 SSDs. So this is the same interface you'd use for creating a hard drive pool, for example. But now you can select M.2s. Let's get the drive check and erases the drives. It's a common warning, just kind of a heads up in the case of you're doing something with drives you shouldn't. But you get the storage pool now and you can create a volume on top of it and this would be a nice all flash volume for you to use internal to the system. But very cool new feature that you can do on just this model. Uh, they haven't added this to any of their other prior models yet. All right, so Kevin took us through how this works, and the first question that we probably should have started out by addressing, but we've waited till the end, is do other SSDs work? You can see we've put a couple WD Reds in here, and no, they don't. And what happens is when you go through the interface, it says drives aren't supported, can't perform this action. So while we can use these as a cache, Synology has deemed them not good enough to be an SSD volume. So, herein lies the rub. Synology's drives only go up to 400 gig each, and while we appreciate and applaud that they're adding this feature to the 923 Plus and presumably more systems as they're released down the road, it still leaves a very small volume, and while they've given us this feature, it's only just barely. We also don't know how they're gonna handle this rolling forward. The big question we received is, will they retroactively support this? Uh, capability on older units. Our guess is probably not. I think this is going to be a 923 plus engagement kind of rollout. And again, you're only going to be able to use Synology drives with it. So it's sort of a mixed bag of, like we said, great that they're doing it, but we're also somewhat disappointed that they're only supporting the Synology drives, which are highly limited when it comes to capacity. Anyway, they've made progress. At least there's that. And we'll look forward to seeing what they do next.